Okay, I've been um, asked the question about this problem and I thought that it was worthwhile to go through because a lot of you may be having questions about this same type of problem. Um, this one says the average cost per hour in dollars of producing X riding lawnmowers is given by this function. Now, this C of X that represents the cost and our X values here, if you'll look right up here it says X is the number of riding lawn mowers that are being produced. So if we're going to use a graphing utility to do anything that means we're going to have to graph this, right? So in our graphing utility we can only graph things that are in the form of Y equals. Well technically this C of X can be replaced with Y because remember your function notation is just a fancy way of saying Y. So in our calculator, we're going to plug in this equation and then we're going to um, finish the rest of the problem. Now, <clears throat> let me um, move over to that part of it so that we can see that. Here's my graphing calculator and I have already put the function in into the, the y equals. So, and notice that here I put the two, uh, 2600 over x in parentheses. That's kind of important. Um, I always like to get in the habit of putting all fractions in parentheses just to make sure that you don't make an, an order of operations error. Now, when you go to graph this and you hit zoom 6, which is your normal standard window, you don't see anything at all. The reason is because, I mean, the graph is there, we just don't have our window set correctly. So I'm going to click on window here and we're going to have to reset our X's and our Y's, but we're going to have to be kind of smart about what we're doing. That normally this X axis here is the X value in our function. But keep in mind that this X represented something. It represented the number of lawn mowers that were being produced. So our X min is going to be the smallest amount of, of um, lawn mowers being produced and the X max is going to be the maximum number. So here's where you have to use a little bit of um, just kind of intuitive knowledge in a way. Just think about what would be reasonable. It wouldn't make any sense to make less than zero riding lawn mowers. So I'm going to change that X min to zero. And then for the X max, I'm going to drop down to X max. Let's just maybe guess 50. This is, these are just going to be educated guesses here. Now for the Y value, in our original function, it was C of X, representing the cost of those riding lawnmowers. Well, it doesn't make sense to have a negative cost. So for our Y min, we're going to put zero. And then for the Y max, here again, we're going to have to do an educated guess. So just think about what a riding lawnmower might cost. And then you might want to guess a little bit more than that just to be on the safe side. So um, maybe let's guess $2,000. Remember, these are just educated guesses. And now let's graph. Now we can see that function being graphed and you can also see where it comes down and it has a minimum value somewhere in here which is what the problem was asking us to do. It was asking us to minimize this function. So now we can use our calculator to do second trace and choose the minimum function number three and it's asking us for the left bound so we need to be all the way over on the left hand side which is going to take me just a minute to get over there. Uh, doing this uh, in the video it works just a little bit slower than it normally would and I'm going well over on the left side of where that minimum is and hitting enter and then we're going to move over to the right side and hit enter and then for guess we always hit enter. So this is telling us now that we have a minimum where the X value is basically 9 and the Y value is 320.39. So that says when we create 9 um, of the lawn mowers then our uh, cost is $320.39.